Look at all those jalapenos. It is cowboy candy day. So this bowl, pretty big. They've all been fresh jalapenos from the garden, from Tyler and Emma's garden. We cleaned them. I saved some for poppers. This is what we got left. It's hard to tell. So let's get started. So because I didn't think ahead, we have some, turn your room, brand new jars. We're gonna do pickles today too. And instead of me dishwasher sanitizing that, I'm gonna do it like I did growing up. We're gonna boil them to sanitize them. So I'm bringing this to a boil now. All right, I'm gonna start mixing the sauce. So we need half a cider vinegar. Starting to hear the wa hear the <laughs> hear the water boil to boil my jars. All right. Cup of apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna double this though. So that means two. Cause I have a lot of jalapenos. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to double it to make more. But worry about that when that comes. Sugar. Six cups because I'm doubling it. That's one, two, three. Four, five, six. So if you were only making one batch, it'd be three cups. Okay. All right, this I am gonna measure. And where are my measuring spoons? They are missing? Really? Hmm. So I'm going to eyeball it. So two teaspoons garlic powder. I don't know where my measuring spoons are. Okay. Interesting. Quarter teaspoon, so half a teaspoon would be double. Quarter would be one. I'll do a little more. And then celery seed. So Russ had to run and get celery seed. I have celery salt, but that's very different. So I'm gonna start this boiling. I'm gonna put it on medium right now. I hear this, so I'm going to Let me move my camera. Whoop, sorry. Put my jars in there. Put them on 
towel back there. Two more. There it goes. Wait. So when those are done, about another minute or so, I'll take them out. I'm waiting for the celery seed. I'll show you that when I get to it. Okay, celery seed, but I gotta open this. Teaspoons, half. A fourth is the regular recipe, so I'm gonna put in a half. Let me move you down. Hold on, here we go. Okay. I'm kind of eyeballing what a half is. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna turn this up a bit now that I got all the ingredients in there so it comes to a boil. The boys went to a farmer's market because we're doing pickles after this. And they got fresh dill and oh man, I love the smell of dill. So I'm gonna see if I can keep some after and just put it in a vase. to a boil. All right, so now we got it boiling. I'm gonna do this for a couple minutes. It's kind of like making candy almost. I'm gonna turn it down, see how it boils up. Turn it down, so now it's on like medium. Now I don't want this to be candy, see? Even though candy's like water and sugar, not well, syrup, but I'm gonna turn this down. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook a little bit. All right, now 
You want to see how thick it is. Oh, that looks good. See? On the spoon or the ladle. I'm going to go grab my jalapenos and put those in there. All right. I'm not going to just dump them in because... Okay, I'm going to turn this way down. Okay. Whew. These are hot, spicy to the face. So what we did is I prepped these like I would for jalapeno poppers. I cut the stem off. I hollowed them out with my potato peeler. And then Emma sliced them. The reason we did that is these are hot. You can tell just by smelling them. And for the first time, for the first batch, I didn't want to do a real hot batch. I want to enjoy the peppers first. I might have to make another whole batch. This is, and I know they cook down, but still. You know what I mean? That's only like half the bowl. I'm gonna have to do this again. All right. Turning it up. I can then decide if I want more jalapenos in there. I think I can. Okay, I'm gonna put more jalapenos in there because this will cook down. Or maybe not. I'm gonna wait because I'll show you what I'm gonna do when these get cooked. So these cook for about four minutes. I'm gonna turn this up. I got my lids back there getting hot. that's good all right I'll bring you back and show you the next step okay so I'm going to dampen some paper towel with vinegar so I can clean the lids even though you sanitize them you still got to do it all right so this isn't just plop them all in here this has got a couple steps to it First, I'm just, hmm, maybe I should get the slotted spoon. I'll be right back. What you want is just the jalapenos in the jar. Now the reason you boil them in the sauce syrup is see how soft they got? because otherwise they'd be hard to get in here, correct? Now what I might do is go and get the rest of the peppers and boil them in that sauce also. Because you usually have extra why do I say sauce? It's syrup. You usually have extra syrup. This way then maybe I wouldn't. I think I'm going to try that. If I have to make more syrup, I have to make more syrup. better it's hot. I'll put 
a little bit more, not a whole lot. Okay, I'm good with that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this right away and then I know it's done. Okay, let's do this again. I think I most certainly can put the rest of these peppers in there. Whew. Get my face in there and I burn it. in there. I don't want to get sugar all over the towel. Now you most certainly can put these in the shallow like jelly jar sizes, you know, that hot. I'm going to boil the rest of the peppers in here because that might be enough sauce. If I got to make more sauce or syrup, I will. Russ, putting the air conditioner on? I think so. Okay. I'll close these windows in here. The one in the other bedroom and bathroom are open. The one on the right in the bedroom is open. All right. So I'm going to finish this and then boil the rest. All right. So I boiled some more. Ooh, my spoon. Let's finish filling that jar. And that might be enough. Yep. All right. I'm gonna clean that right away. Oh, that dried up. See, don't be afraid of canning at all need more of something you just do it it's i mean it's no big deal the actual canning process this cleaning sterilizing cleaning the top all that that's the stuff you have to be careful about not the actual recipes per se oh i don't need that i'm trying to rush this and i shouldn't And then you can go a quarter of the way up. I shouldn't say of the way up. I should say quarter of the way from the top down, right? I'm doing an inch. And an inch, I'll show you. If you fill to this ring, that's an inch. Okay, so that'd be a half and then right there. Now, they have stuff that you can measure, use to measure it. I have used it, it's great. If I find it quickly, I will show you. Otherwise, I have also had that in the past videos. I will try and find it for you. I think that's enough in this one. Yep. jar, clean it right away, then I know I'm done. And actually for canning, mm. ooh, I'm gonna love this. Um, all the work is really in the chopping, in the preparation of whatever you're canning. 
that's where the work is. This stuff just takes time. You know, so when somebody says, can I help? Yeah, you can help chop. So Emma is the one that helped chop. It's not that I don't want any more help. If you get too many people, someone's always standing and just waiting around. And I don't want to do that. We're going to do a pickling. We're canning pickles next. Hopefully Russ will let me videotape that. And looking at this, I think I'm going to need more syrup, but who knows, right? Who knows? All right, now I don't have a ton of peppers left, and I have room in this one, and I see I have room in another. Let's try and get all these out of here, and I can smash them down. Now I know I can see this one, it still has some room in here, so I'm going to try and put more in there. And yes, I'll have to clean the jar again. That's no big deal, right? And I might be able to put some in a different one too. When you put all that hard work into growing something, you don't want anything to go to waste. Now, also, depending on how much everybody likes these, and if we have a lot of jalapenos, there's still more to pick. I might make a bunch again, and there'll be Christmas gifts for those that didn't get any. Because the hot sauce that I made, they all love the hot sauce. Which, they can bring me back the jars and I have more I can put in them for them. But the hot sauce we've also found out, the longer it sits, the better it is. It's amazing. So if you want a link to that, let me know. I don't always remember to do that. All right, I guess I'll just put that back in there. Perfect, fits. So I got four quarts. All right, now we are to boil that a little longer and my assumption is because you want it thick, right? So I'm gonna just, actually, I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. I'll have to clean that lid. All right, so I'm gonna take this back and boil it. Okay, so let's pour this juice in there. And all we're gonna do is cover So I'm going to use that red tool again. To get any air bubbles out. See, I didn't need much, much syrup. Okay, it's to the top. And I don't see any air bubbles. I'm gonna let it sit, obviously, and see if I have to add more. Now, some people save this syrup and use it like a jelly. I don't know. I might put it in a jar and figure out something I can do with it. I wonder if I could, hmm. I wonder if I could put it in the crock pot with something. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. chicken maybe and shred it for tacos I don't know I have to wait and see so obviously a double batch is enough
one more. Let me go back and do that other one. I didn't do it. Jars are hot, obviously, from the sauce. One more. I have enough juice in here, I could probably boil up some jalapenos. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save this, because I also saved jalapenos to make poppers. But if I have too many poppers, I can always just boil the jalapenos in this sauce, leftover sauce. Because you can put these in the refrigerator too. You don't have to can them, and they last for about five weeks. Canning them lasts for a year. It might be it might be a month. Well, that is five weeks is longer than a month. Okay. So now I'm just gonna let this cool. Put that there for now. Now I'm gonna get the jars. All right. So I have the water boil ready to boil. I don't know where to go with this. Remember if you remember, remember if you remember, I already, just finger tight, that's it. Yes, I'll have to add more water, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. They say you do not have to boil your lids anymore. I just do. that one for later. Mm. All right, so I got to cover that more. See how much we got here. You want about two inches above on these. Just cover it in water. Yep, so I should have filled it. See what other colors we have. I know purple.
Perfect. Perfect. All right. Lid. All right, it's on high. So when it comes to a boil, I start my timer 15 minutes. And then after that, I let it cool down a bit. And then we just let them process for 24 hours. Don't want to touch them. All right, I'll bring you back. All right, the light went on. Oh, so it's boiling. So I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes and then I'll bring you back. Can you hear it? Okay. Okay, timer's off. put that there for now. So I'm just gonna let that rest and then I'll take it out and I'll show you. All right, there they are. They look great. Now we just wait to see and not to see, but we wait to hear them pop. Thanks for watching. I want you to try this. If you have any questions, please, please let me know. Put it in the comments. All right, everybody, have a great day.